here now to see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to say the standard deviation is that one and then comma. And then I want this, let's bring it back down to where we're at. I want this to be cumulative. So I'm going to say this is going to be one, close it up minus the lower bucket minus another norm dot dist. And then X is going to be the lower bucket now comma the mean and standard again mean comma i'm looking up here now standard boom comma we want this to be cumulative so i'm going to say one and close it up so that's going to take everything up to the 400 minus the stuff up to the one to the zero which will be the stuff in the middle right so then we're gonna say uh, enter. And so that's gonna be, let's make these percentages. Home tab, number group percentify, add some decimals. There we have it. Now to copy this down, the second one, I can copy it down, but anything that's not in my area here, I need to make absolute. So if I look at my formulas, the X is in here, but the mean is not that's over an e so i need to say f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the e and the one same with this one that's over there an e f4 dollar sign before the e and the two over here the m is in here so that's good but this one is outside so f4 dollar sign before the e and the one f4 dollar sign before the e and the two enter then i can click on it and double click and bring it on down so our totals our total to our total i'm gonna say alt equals adds up to approximately 100 percent home tab number percentify and there we have it so you can see that this comes out pretty close like if i look at that 20 2400 to 2008 17 12 2400 <laughs> to uh to 2008 17 14 right or 17 13 so if you compare these two it comes out pretty close given the nature of the data that we're looking at because up here we did a pretty fine uh because normally you can't just sum up right because it's the area under the curve but because we had such fine detail on each of these lines down here we actually get pretty close pretty pretty close to if we used uh the the function here on these so we've got 0 0.36 1.04 1.3 6 6.82 6.82 and so on and so forth okay let's just do some formatting here and and stop this foolishness i'm going to say a home tab font group i'm going to make this blue if you don't have that blue i like to make it standard blue okay put some borders around it if we could I like to have some separation between my stuff I don't like the mashed potatoes all mixed in with the peas on my food plate you could you put some borders around them if you would this is not this is not anarchy that is happening here we need some order